Alright, since we got our skulls done, uh, we're now going to start working on our stand. Uh, my goal is, is to make a distressed wood stand that looks like an old barn beam or an old fence post. And the first step that I'm going to do is I've got a 7 foot 4x4 four four that I'm going to take the corners off to make it look like a weathered or rough cut piece of wood. After finishing the corners with the angle grinder, we're going to take a planer and basically we're going to try to simulate uh, you know that this is a rough cut piece of wood that is gouged out you know not manufactured so we're going to you know make some unevenness in the bulk of the wood. Next step is I'm going to take this wire wheel on the hand drill and we'll run it up and down the wood. Basically what it's going to do is take away the softer lighter wood exposing the grain even more and gives it that really weathered look. Now continue with our rough cut look, we're going to take our reciprocating saw and move up and down each side of the wood just to continue that rough cut fresh out of the sawmill look. We're going to make the wood look like it's been infected with insects or barn beetles or powder post bugs, whatever you want to call it. Um, first I got some drywall screws, putting this one by four. We're going to make clusters of holes throughout. Not everywhere, just... Because powder post beetles have a tendency to make clusters of holes. We're just going to work... Now for the next step, I'm actually going to assemble the stand, uh, but one thing that I have to consider is that the screws that I'm going to use, they're shiny and new, so we got to make these look old. And the best way to do that is to use perma blue or gun blue. This is relatively cheap and it's going to make these screws look old. So it's pretty simple. The screws I'm using are too big to actually go down in the bottle. So I'm going to take a Q-tip, dip it in the perma blue, and just go around the screw. And there you have it, an old screw. All right, I've got the post attached to the base. I used two foot pieces of 4x4 four four to create the base. Now we're going to uh, lightly burn the wood and then put a good coat of stain on it. We've got our stand for our mounts good and charred now and we could leave it this way it looks good uh, but we're going to go for a really weathered look I have a can of Verithane smoke gray stain that I'm going to put on it uh, we'll start with one coat see how it turns out we might put two coats on our post the stain on is now dry, so we're going to add our hangers that we're going to put our skulls on. All 
All right, here it is. Uh, it was not an easy process. It took me about a month to complete, but I will say this, it turned out better than I hoped it would. Um, if you're looking for something quick and easy, this is not the project for you, but it's my belief that if you're gonna put all this time into hunting down the trophy, you need to create a memorial uh, that, you know, does the trophy justice. And I really think Devin's gonna like this. Um, he's got room to add on to it, and it'll look good in his home. Um, again, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, thank you.